We've seen dozens of patients try to lose weight through Dr. Now's program on My 600 Pound Life over the years, and it's always sad to see a patient on the verge of success before returning to their old ways. Here are some of their heartbreaking stories. Ever since she was a child, Gina Crassley turned to food for comfort and pleasure, even if she had to argue with and manipulate her mother to get it. But it was the abuse that Crassley suffered at the hands of her violent father that truly caused her weight to spiral out of control, causing her to overeat until she weighed over 600 pounds. With her marriage to her wife Beth in trouble and her life on the line, Crassley turned to Dr. Now for help. But despite Crassley's best efforts, on the eve of her weight loss surgery, Dr. Now called the procedure off, as Crassley had regained some of the 64 pounds that she'd lost. By the end of the episode, Crassley had an ultimatum on her hands – lose 75 pounds in three months, or Dr. Now would no longer work with her. While Crassley's episode didn't end well, a follow-up episode seemed imminent given the way things left off. However, it is not likely that we'll see one anytime soon, as Crassley is one of the cast members who have filed suit against the show's production company, Megalomedia, according to Starcasm. I think I'm in shock. I just can't believe this is happening. It looked like things were going well for Bethany Stout for the majority of her episode of My 600 Pound Life. By the eighth month, she had dropped over 100 pounds after a successful gastric sleeve operation helped her to get below the 500 pound mark. Clearly, she was putting in the work to improve her health and save her life. However, it wasn't long after Stout reached that milestone that she started regaining weight, which quickly pushed her back over the 500 pound mark. Frustrated by her stalled progress and unwilling to seek out the therapy that Dr. Now wanted her to get, Stout ended up tearfully quitting the program. By the end of her episode, Stout resolved to lose the weight on her own, convinced that she could find another way to do it. Stout still hasn't given up, as is evidenced by posts on her blog and social media accounts. Hopefully, she can find her way to a happier ending. But I appreciate the help getting me this far. And I'm trying to do everything I need to do. Some of the stars of My 600 Pound Life are more combative than others, which is arguably the case when it comes to Angela Johns. At 643 pounds, she didn't accept much of Dr. Nell's help and largely didn't do the work that he asked of her. She appeared to also be abusive toward her family, resorting to verbal put-downs when they didn't do what she asked of them. Much of this behavior was likely due in part to John's past traumas, which are especially harrowing. A survivor of sexual abuse, John's was raised by a parent with serious substance abuse issues. She also had to give away the baby that she had when she was barely a teenager, which had been conceived as a result of statutory rape. Struggling with these traumas seemed to prove too much for Johns, who only managed to lose about 50 pounds by the end of her episode. That, coupled with her toxicology reports that found she tested positive for narcotics and her refusal to go to rehab, resulted in her dismissal from Dr. Now's program. I mean, I kind of feel like I did a first step because this coming here was a, a huge step. Lanitha Reed was the last person to appear on My 600 Pound Life before filming was suspended in 2020 due to coronavirus. Previously, the pharmacy technician had gone viral on the internet after vowing to lose 451 pounds, according to Good Morning America. The reason? Reed wanted to be more active and involved in both her daughter's life as well as her own. However, in spite of her initial motivation and genuine desire to turn her life around, Reed found Dr. Now's diet too difficult to follow. For this reason, she started missing appointments, until it was clear that she wasn't losing the weight necessary to qualify for weight loss surgery. By the conclusion of her episode, which didn't end well, Reed had left the program altogether. It's not all doom and gloom, though, as Dr. Now said that Reed would be welcomed back into the program if she puts in the effort to show she's serious. But it's just, at this moment, I can't do it. Kalisa McMillan appeared on My 600 Pound Life in 2020 during season eight. The mother of four weighed 643 pounds at her peak. And while Macmillan did manage to lose a significant amount of weight and vowed to quit smoking before her episode concluded, things took a turn for the worst after the cameras stopped rolling. According to Starcasm, Macmillan was admitted to the ICU in the spring of 2020 after she suffered from a rupture in her gastric sleeve and she had to be put in a medically induced coma. 
things were indeed dire for Macmillan, though she did manage to rally while in hospital after flatlining. Sadly, Macmillan passed away at just 41 years of age in September 2020, as reported by TMZ. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, please call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Administration's 24-7 National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. That's 1-800-662-4357.